So I do a lot of raw processing videos that never actually make it anywhere. I tend to sit down with the camera and just am able to unload whatever's going on in a way that I can't through, through journaling. And, you know, even the videos that I do post, it's also a form of, of therapy for me to be able to share my journey in the way that I, in the way that I currently do. But with that knowledge, I also am going to start really taking the time to share these types of videos too without any editing, without um, much intention set before I, before I film the video. I want these to be real, raw, processing videos as to what's going on for me in this moment. So what it's like to be me right now, I'm currently in Bali. I've had an amazing just over two weeks and I attended an event called Unconventional Life and it brought up a lot of good and, and maybe challenging matters. I don't tend to feel most at home in very large group situations, but over the past two years of um, a lot of travel and different events, I tend to be putting myself in these situations frequently. And so trying to figure out why I'm doing this, I always leave feeling really good, positive about what I'm doing in my life and where I'm headed. but getting there is a challenge for me and really being able to show up and to stay committed to the process. So a lot came up. I definitely felt like there was times where I wanted to step away. Sometimes I did, sometimes I didn't. Um, but I think it's really important to push yourself and just even me being aware of this trait of mine means that I can consciously choose to put myself in you know, that situation that challenges me to live, live more into the uncomfortable feelings that I have when I'm in, in group settings. But the amazing things that came from that were just awesome connections and feelings of just like, wow, I'm on the right path other people get it, other people acknowledge me, they see my gifts, they see how I'm different than other people, how I can show up for, for a different group of people and really serve them in a way that other people can't, in ways that they couldn't just because of who they are. So it became really apparent that, you know, all of us were here to kind of in, in most ways, help people discover who they are, help them discover their gifts, um, what they came here to give, help them really live into themselves, their authentic experience. And while that was also incredibly motivating, because it's like, yeah, so many other people understand my feeling of just wanting to help other people who are you know, really missing that part of that part of their lives. But it also is is challenging. It's like coming face to face with uh, your competitors in some in some sense. There's room for everyone in this in this category. But in some ways that that first day or two I definitely was like, oh my goodness, what am I doing here? Everyone is doing this. How am I gonna stand apart? How am how are my gifts different from what other people can give? And so it's been a really cool process since that event of trying to integrate everything I've learned and just see what feels really alive in, in my body and what I, what I want to do over the next couple months, the next couple years. What is it, um, what intentions am I setting? What goals do I have? Uh, what projects do I really want to create? 
And so what come up what came up were three three projects. One being a a six week online course that will have the ability to reach more people. I love talking about business. I love talking about nature connection and personal transformation and just like in general how to improve your life. And I know the ways in which I'm doing it now, I'm not reaching as many people because I um, didn't at the time understand the marketing principles and um, just the, I, w I wasn't putting in the work. I was kind of, you know, doing some Instagram, doing some YouTube and just like letting it sit out there. And there's been some amazing opportunities from that, but being more intentional with my business is definitely going to um, help. So I've decided to create this course that is called Grounding Into, Grounding Into Your Business where, where, oh gosh, okay, grounding into your business where nature, connection, personal health, and business meet. And so it's this idea of creating more of a healthy lifestyle with regard to business and self-care and making sure to take time to get outside and really connect with nature. I don't mean you know, go on a on a long hike. I mean, time sitting in one place, noticing your environment, noticing yourself in the environment, um, tapping into all your senses, using various invitations that are more centered around forest bathing and the principles that we use to help people connect. And so I just feel that it's a more holistic and well-rounded approach to to life and business. And so this is the course that I'm working on. The other idea is, those of you who've been around for a while know that I um, I have this Be More Badass uh, website and it was just linked to my apparel, but I've been tooling with the idea for a little while of creating a podcast again. And so um, this, this podcast is going to be called Be More Badass, and it's going to be interviewing people who have chosen to live their lives unconventionally. Um, initially, I was going to just narrow it down to very specific and say, you know, anyone who um, chose not to go to college or started going to college and never finished, that I would only be interviewing um, them, but I think I'm then cutting off a very important uh, alive sector of humanity that's that's been through college and um, has obviously just as wise things to say and very important messages to spread. And so this is about interviewing people doing incredible things, badasses. And so that's one of the, one piece of that. And then down the road, I want to turn that into a summit of some sort, where it's a, a bringing together of you know those three topics that I mentioned: nature connection, um, personal personal health, and business. And so within that is you know there's going to be topics of uh, obviously nature connection, cultural repair, um, education, college that type of thing, and then there'll be topics on um, the food industry, the importance of spiritual health, uh, um, what else is under that category of personal health? Um, astrology, practical astrology, not so much uh, you know, something way out there, it's very practical and has been um, reframed in a way that's easily digestible to everybody. There is no you know, mention of charts and planets. It's, it's very real and relatable to your personal life and your business. And then there'll also be business stuff. There'll be business strategy. There will be, um, you know, a, probably talks on how to discover what business is right for you. 
where we are headed in terms of um, our economics, where we will have jobs, where um, AI and VR is taking us, artificial inte intelligence and virtual reality, and how that's going to drastically transform the ways in which we can have um, can have jobs and can make livings for ourselves. And so these all blended together feels really amazing. And I think the biggest two aspects that are generally not included with business is, you know, the personal health, the fitness, the meditation, the reading, the, the journaling, the importance of self-care, and also nature connection and continuing your, your education, continuing your, um, your connection to you know, the natural world. We, we, we are a part of nature, and so when we distance ourselves so much from it, we just become really detached from um, our values and what truly matters. So that's the idea, and it feels super, super awesome having that these first these two really clear ideas um, and so those that's what's really alive for me and I'm going to be working on that um, in the next weeks and months to come and then the last thing is the book that I've been talking about writing and prior to coming here I was like oh man I'm going to write this book and so before the event I started writing a little bit and I was a little bit frustrated just because I felt like I couldn't um, I couldn't write anything that long. It just felt like I was writing little snippets like a half page or a page. I'm not really detail oriented. I don't I don't care to write about um, the details. I'm more about like what I learned and um, the mistakes I had, how I'm going to change this in the future. And so, you know, I was just kind of feeling into them like, wow, do I really want to write my story? Do I want to be the one spearheading um, this really important message that I feel like needs to get out there? And I still don't have an answer to that, but after the event, I was feeling like maybe I didn't want to uh, write the book right now, that it wasn't the right time. And after a little bit of um, a couple exercises that I did relating to, you know, really figuring out what's most alive for me and what's um, what I want to explore in terms of my business, it's very obvious that this is a really important part of of my journey right now and it needs to be written. It needs to be um, needs to be written, it needs to be produced right now and that was a huge uh, a huge realization and so I'm just really grateful that I that I realized that now and am again going to start writing about it um, writing about my book. But the question of if I want, if I ultimately want to be the main one writing it, I don't know about that. And uh, it feels really important to shape the story as I imagine it, as I've lived it. Um, but acknowledging that I that I feel like maybe someone else could help me write it, could um, could expand on the parts where I just really don't feel the need to but but in terms of you as the reader trying to read it and get something out of it are really important pieces the details that set the stage for then the transformation that happened so yeah that's where I'm at I'm going to be doing a lot more of this type of stuff and just trying to feel into what's happening right now. I still love making, you know, more inspirational videos and more, um, 
more vlog style videos, more cinematic videos, but I think I've finally realized that I really need a team of people to help me create this. It's difficult and time consuming to create those kinds of, of videos when you're on your own. So I imagine I'll have maybe one really nice video like that, um, but besides that I don't know um, from this trip at least how much I'm gonna gonna really be able to create in terms of a cinematic um, video. Well, that feels like all I wanted to say. If you have questions about any of this, please let me know. I will obviously be filming um, more videos, more videos to come. And more about my mission and what I'm trying to create because I realize I'm... I have this mission and it feels really grandiose and awesome and I want more people to know what it is and to you know, feel the importance of it, being able to tap into the tools that I have on the website and um, I haven't shared my message. I think the most important thing is to share my message every day and I haven't. And so it feels really important to um, share my message as often as possible. Um, so important to get outside, to tune in to yourself, to value self-care practices above above everything else. Um, you don't have anything if you don't have your health. So, um, yeah. And then also just thinking about this idea of, you know, what's your mission, and then what do you need help help with? What is stopping you from? achieving what it is that you want. Is it money? Is it um, resources? Is it support? You know, like, really defining what it is that's holding you back from um, what you want for your life. And then asking. You have so many resources already. I have an immense amount of resources that I've been learning to now tap into. There's so many people out there that support you, that want you to succeed. You are one connection away from the biggest breakthrough of your life. You are always one connection away from a big breakthrough. And so trusting that wherever you are, uh, whatever situation you're in, that that's exactly what you need and it will lead to um, the, biggest, the biggest breakthrough in your life the biggest turning point. Um, it's really important to believe that and trust wherever you are is, is exactly where you need to be. All right, guys. I will talk to you soon in another video. You can stay up to date as to what exactly is going on through my Instagram, and I will talk to you guys super soon. Bye. Life is wonderful. Love